All right, welcome to Improving Sales Performance Workshop. If you do solution selling or team selling, this workshop's for you. It's all about ideation. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so ideation has two parts. The first part is discovery. The second part, ideation. So let's start with discovery. So discovery is where you really learn everything you need to know about this client. And it's not just their problem, but it's also what's underneath. So let's talk about how you do that. The first thing is just simply, what's their problem? What are they trying to solve? But what's interesting is a lot of people stop there. They go, well, the company really wants this solution so that they can increase their revenue. And that's great. But if we're going to ideate, we really need a lot more information. So I want you to think about the problem from the company point of view, which we just spoke about, and the individual point of view. So what I like to say is, okay, what's the problem? Okay, tell me about it. What does that do for your company? Then I like to say, what does that do for you? And I pause, because I want to learn what the ultimate solution is going to do for that person that I'm talking to, or his or her team. Take notes, think about that. This is the critical part. And then what a lot of times I'll do is I'll double back, and I'll ask like a magic wand question. And if you're not familiar with a magic wand question, it's really simple. You say something like, hey, if you had a magic wand and you could make whatever reality happen, happen, and it all works out perfectly, what would that look like? And then again, be quiet, listen. Part of selling is listening. So they're going to start to list out all these things. Oh, if I buy your solution, it allows the company to grow. It allows the merger to go through. And for me, I get a promotion that I want. I get a move or I get to stay here while the company expands, whatever that is. But that's what you're trying to unlock in discovery. So as you go through discovery, I typically have a magic wand, and I also come up with just a couple basic questions. When's the RFP due? What's your budget? If we could fix this, what would this do for you? Just kind of the nuts and bolts. So the biggest part of discovery, figure out the problem from a company point of view, an individual point of view, do a magic wand, whatever you need to do to learn as much as you can. And what a successful discovery does, it sets you up for ideation. So let's talk about that. So with ideation, I like to bring a lot of people together. I like to bring the salesperson, if there was a business development person, whoever was in that original discovery, I want in my ideation meeting. But I also want the domain expert. And if I'm going to have other people that might actually be doing the work, like the production team, if you have a sales team and then a production team, if you're set up that way, or a client success team, have them there too, especially if this is a big deal. I'll tell you why in a second. So with ideation, what I like to do is kind of create a, a matrix, if you will. I like to think about an individual and the company like we just spoke about. And I create a matrix. The first part of the matrix are the problems. And what I do is I start to document what we just said over on the discovery board, right? Here are their problems. Here's their magic wand for the person. Again, I want to know what this does for the individual and the team. And then I do the same thing for the company. This is usually what's in the RFP. This, Blue Ocean. Most of your competitors, they're not going to ask this question. They're going to live over here. They're only getting half the picture. That's why this discovery is so important. So I go into the room. I bring the team together. I get a big whiteboard. And we start doing this. And we make sure we list out all the problems. Then we ask the audience, the other people of the team, do you have any other questions? Do you think there's things I should have asked? And I start to write those questions down. If I don't know the answer, guess what? I'm going to go back and get those answers. So as we fill this out in ideation, we start to understand the problems. Now the fun begins. And we start to brainstorm all these solutions. And that's why you need everyone in the room, right? You want to have the domain expert. You want to have the delivery team. You want to have the business development person. You want everybody that can give an idea in that room. And you just start to say, what are the ideas? What are the solutions that solve these problems from an individual point of view? What are they? It can be crazy. It doesn't matter. There aren't any bad ideas. All you're trying to do is get the team to think about how you solve this individual's problem and his or her magic wand. Then you do company as well. And you go through that. And you're going to come up with all these great ideas. And at the end of the session, the most important thing, there's really two. What did we miss with those questions? And who's going to go back and get those answers? And how are we going to share them with the team? And then how is that going to change our solution? That's the first really important thing. 
The second one is have a clear owner who's going to take these solutions and put it in the proposal. And how are we going to generate these ideas in the proposal in a way that when this individual reads it, they go, whoa, they got me. They know me. I want to work with them. And that is what you're trying to do. Like I promised you in the beginning, if you can sell better by listening and really using this ideation workshop, you're going to close more business. And when you close it, all those people in the room, they're going to be ready to go. When that deal's closed, it's time to kick it off. Real short, that's an ideation workshop. Works super well. Practice it a little bit. Sometimes they're 30 minutes. Sometimes they're an all-day event. But here's the tool for you. Good luck. Thanks for attending. We appreciate you being here. Thanks.